Hey, hello again, everybody. Sebastian here with another Watch Your Realms video. In this one, we're going to be talking about GBG Season 4 open here in the Forerunner server. We will welcome to a new tower map. The central keep, it's still the same. That has not changed. So, again, no flex, no, no variation. So it's the same thing over and over again. The defense tower, though, did change. So you can see here the, tra the track of the demons is not going to be straight out of the floor go down to the left go up one and then make this turn now i'm going to go uh to my defense formation so i can show you where uh the uh exactly these um where we're going to be able to place our units so let me go back here now let me go to the garrison so here in the garrison i'm going to pick one so if you can see here the ground units are there are six tiles for the ground units from what i remember so the primary one is going to be here volkira is on the other one so it's seven so let me let me scratch that yeah it's uh three there's four here three here so i think that the variation here with this one is to allow you to use some of the long range if you want the double stack uh that i think that does what the developers were thinking we'll have to see what we can um make up with that so that's the ground units and here uh, we have the platform units so we have these two here these two tiles here the three in the back here we have two down here and they put actually one here in the corner so uh, right here on the bottom so essentially it's going to be uh, what type of defenses do we want what do you know uh, can some of the same ones be used from last time? It looks like in some way, shape, or form you can, but there are now there are things that there are more ways to get around them. The other thing that you can look at here in uh, Mall Spot, there is one for Dahlia. I mean, this is clearly for Dahlia right here. Uh, all these are empty. You can just put her, she puts all her flowers in, and she can do damage to any of the ground units. Uh, did I notice another one here for Dahlia? You could probably do one like right here if you wanted to. Uh, make things complicated if you, uh, somebody gets past your tank so you can play around with Dali and see what she can do uh, that is just, that's something that we're toying around here within our guild somebody did put in uh, a, a Dahlia defense for me to try out so that's essentially the comp the the way that things are going to be looking here and so just to get you an idea of how things are going to go I'll, I'll do one battle so let me set one up and let me make sure my affiliations are correct Okay, so I have here my uh, wars going on co-host. He set up a defense here for me to try just to see what things are going on. Uh, I guess the way that I'm seeing this right now, yeah, I expect us to lay all of this out. He decided to put Sotramai here uh, to cover all of this area here. Probably make it painful to go after the tank or try to storm the tank. He put Silas down here, and you can see Dahlia down here, and there is the healer and Esrin uh, to make sure that he can protect the blow to broker if that's the way that I decided to go. So for this example here, let me just try something out here really quick and see if this works. And if it doesn't, we'll go back to the drawing board. I don't think that these flowers can hit uh, air units, or they do, maybe. All right, uh, no, they do not. Okay, so now Silas is, and there is Samra or there is uh Cetrum, samra there is Cetrum's ultimate baited so here let me try this and see how this goes and just to give you a preview this is just me thinking out loud right now so he's gonna target broker all right let's see how fast silas moves here okay so now i'm going to release this see how that goes yeah so that's a little bit i didn't expect that that's too simple there so yeah so after you bait the ultimates you can definitely do some some funky stuff there so so that's kind of a just make sure you watch your layouts you still can bait ultimates it depends on all in the layout it depends on who you want to go after so uh i guess the idea is still the same uh, you're just gonna have to look to see the heroes understand what their ultimates do, how much time you have before they reload, and then go from there. Uh, so here Arcturus set up another one for me. 
So in this one, right away, I know what you're thinking. I can probably shut this down with... Um, I already have a setup, actually. He, does he have him base power? Not quite. So let me see if I blow this, because it is likely that I'm going to blow this. Because I didn't even... So here is Lily, so she's going to protect Arrogance. That's no question there. So I'm not even going to bother yet. So Arrogance's ultimate is... Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's try this. See how this goes. Just want to see who gets who's taken down. All right, so there is uh, Kriya doing her thing. All right, so we take her down. Do we take down Arrogance before Hatsu gets us? Okay, so he survived. All right, so let's just send these two here. It's probably a little bit too late. Okay, so here we go. It's just going to be a race here. Okay, so they survived. All right, that's fine. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what Hatsu can do now. All right, we'll let these go. We'll let these go. And her region, yep, yeah, Tatsu. Okay, so as soon as we took out arrogance, so that tile there, I'm not gonna like that tile. It's gonna be too easy to pick apart any fighter unless you put, unless you place the tank in front. But the problem is that you have the boot purpose. So you know, yeah, it all depends exactly as to how you're gonna lay out any fighter that you're putting here. You gotta be careful. All uh, right, he seems to be in a very vulnerable position here. So. Think about, have your defense tested by your guildmates to make sure that this fighter does not come down, even with a tank here, because he seems like an easy target there. Uh, this one's a platform unit. It's a little bit more protective. It's, it's kind of like the old style that we had, but the, this one here where you have the fighter right across from the tank, that doesn't look uh, like a, that doesn't look like a safe spot for, for any fighter. In addition to the map change here in Season 4, we're being introduced to the Frozen Drifter, which is going to be a new epic demon soldier that's going to be introduced. His shards are only going to be dropping from our guild rewards, similar to the Faroa that did in the first three seasons. Now we can farm them. But for, uh, the Faroa was replaced with this fellow here. As you can see here, uh, in, in terms of his defense and... Uh, let me take myself off there. In terms of his defense and magic resistance is low, so you know that this guy is going to get melted really quick. He had, does have high HP, high attack, and uh, decent speed. But you can see that he is not going to last very long. He says that um, he, he has a chance to inflict this winter spite, so it appears that he is going to have some type of CC effect, maybe. That's what... Uh, that's what's going to entail uh, whatever you decide to uh, uh, engage him with. And at the same time, in this chilling touch here, he says he has a 12% chance of inflicting Winter's Bite when he is attacking. So he must have, he must be right up. His energy is only four, and there are two of them uh, that you get uh, when you uh, total that you get or the battle so once we get him we'll test him out see how good he is uh for the guild wars uh and see how effective we can use him and what type of situations we can use him in so that'll do it new gbg map new epic demon soldier coming season four thank you all very much for tuning in and watching i will see you all next time in the next watch your bronze video and please do remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out